So in this video, I want to go through three examples where we've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, brackets, powers, roots, uh, and reciprocals. Okay, so a right old mix. Uh, they might go into decimals. We've got some decimals in there as well. Um, mixing it up with fractions. Uh, we might go into negatives. I'm assuming we're going to go into negatives for the number three. So, yeah, a nice mix so you can see everything being brought together and all those skills. So let's have a look at number one. We have eight divided by open brackets, 16 take away the square root of 81. So, first of all, we've got to do what's in the bracket. So, inside the bracket, we've got the 16 take away root 81. But we know that we've got to do the roots before we do the subtraction. So, we've got the 8 divided by. So, inside the bracket, we've got 16 take away the square root of 81, which is 9. So, we have 8 divided by 16 take away 9. So, we've still got to deal with what's in that bracket. So, we've got 16... Uh, take away 9, which is 7. So we've got 8 divided by 7, which is 8 sevenths. And I'm going to write that just as a fraction. And that's as far as I go. Now you could say, oh, I'm going to go into decimals. So I'm going to do 8 divided by 7 and work it out what's in decimals. But um, it just keeps on going, so you'd have to round it at some point. So I'm just going to keep it in exact form. Uh, as that fraction. Right, number two. We have the square root of 100 take away 75. Take away 1.25 take away 1.2 in a bracket to the minus 1. So, first of all, we've got to deal with what is in a bracket. And there are actually two brackets. It doesn't look like there are. Or two pairs of brackets, I should say. It doesn't look like there is. Uh, but we've definitely got that one there. And there is another one that is here inside the square root that we don't bother writing or drawing. Because essentially, it's clear from how I've drawn this that the square root goes over everything that is inside here. So the 100 take away 75. So there is a sneaky bracket there as well. So let's deal with that. 100 take away 75 is 25. So we've got the square root of 25. Take away. Then we've got 1.25 take away 1.2, which is 0 0.05. And that's to the minus 1. OK. Now, the square root of 25 is 5. Now we've got this reciprocal here, 0 0.05 to the minus 1. Not immediately obvious as to what that is. It would be better if I knew what 0 0.05 was as a fraction. So, what is 0 0.05 as a fraction? I'll do it up here, actually. 0 0.05 is 5 hundredths, because it's 5 in the hundredths column. Now, 5 hundredths divide top and bottom by 5 gives you 1 twentieth. So 0 0.05 is 1 twentieth. Now, if you're trying to find the reciprocal of 1 twentieth, then that would be 20. So we actually have 5 take away 20, which is minus 15. And that is the result for number 2. Number 3. Well, we've got 18 take away, and in a bracket we have 7 plus 6 times 2 take away the cube root of 8. And then on the outside we've got the times 2 cubed. Okay, so we've got to do what's in the bracket first, right? So we have the 18 take away. Now inside the bracket we've got multiplication, we've got addition, subtraction, and we've got a cube root as well. So we've got to do the cube rooting first. We'll do that first. Then we'll do the multiplication. Now, because we've got the subtraction in between, it doesn't actually matter which order I do this. Um, I could do the 6 times 2 
and the cube root of 8 in the same step. And it won't make any difference. Okay, so you can do this. So 7 plus 6 times 2 is 12. Cube root of 8 is 2. Okay, if you want to take two steps over it, you can. Right, so we have 18, take away. Now we've got 7 plus 12, which is 19. Take away 2 is 17. So that's in the bracket. And then we've got the 2 cubed on the outside. Now 2 cubed has to be worked out first because you can't do 17 times 2 and then cube it. You've got to do the cubing first. So 2 cubed first, then we do the multiplication. So 2 cubed is 8. So this is 18 take away 17 times 8. Now, I don't know what 17 times 8 is off the top of my head. So, 17 times by 8. 8 sevens are 56. Put the 6, carry the 5. 1 times 8 plus the 5 is 13. So, it's 136. So, we've actually got 18 take away 136. Now, if you remember... To do that type of calculation, we can do 136 take away 18, and then we put a minus sign at the front. So 136 take away 18. 6 take away 8, I can't do that, so I'm going to have to borrow 1. 16 take away 8 is 8. 2 take away 1 is 1. And we've got the 1, so it's 118. So our final answer is minus 118. And that is my answer for number three.